happens is if we cause the sole to bear weight on the horse and also how the hoof expansion works. This side view of a natural unshod foot shows how the hoof capsule flexes and expands during the cycle. The heels are expanding and contracting although this is difficult to perceive here. From in front, again, flexion and expansion with each limb cycle. From below, we see that the foot is making ground contact at the heels and the toe. The frog makes contact when maximum force is being applied. By drawing a fine black line beside the heel, expansion and contraction of the heels can be demonstrated. Maximum expansion occurs when the foot experiences the greatest downward force during the limb cycle. specimen we have deliberately over trimmed the walls of the foot and the foot is bearing all of its weight upon the sole. We're going to demonstrate how the pedal bone traps the corium between the ground surface and the descending pedal bone. A horse having to bear weight in this position is receiving no blood to its toe from the circumflex artery and causes devastating results. We can see from the video of Dr. Chris Pollitz that not only sole pressure of the horse's foot really can be detrimental to the health of the foot, um, but certainly applying a shoe to it when, it when that foot has been over trimmed like that is not a very good idea because it really affects the circulation, can actually pinch and damage the sole of the foot. But we also learned about the expansion of the foot, and this is a picture of a shoe and you can see the shiny part back at the heel of the foot where the foot has actually been moving as demonstrated on the video. And the interesting part is all the rest of the shoe obviously is very nice and, and clean, but the part that actually has been receiving wear and there's actually indentations back in the shiny part where the heels have actually been moving on the shoe of the foot. And so it's really important, if at all possible, to allow that foot to expand as normally as, as possible. And we want to fit that shoe from about the widest part of the foot back to the heels, fit the shoe wider than the foot is to allow the hoof to expand out to the shoe. And you can see how much movement there is demonstrated by the shiny area back in the heels. Okay, so the second portion